Hi and thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and today we're going to make this fun birthday card. It um, just kind of has a little um, sentiment that will hold up this center fold. It's really cute. I saw this on Pinterest for Christmas and I thought, well, let me try it with some current product. So I just think he's so cute. And I'm using this um, Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper and it's really cute. This one, uh, this next card we're gonna make with the toucan, toucan. Um, so you can cut these out um, or you can, I cut them in a circle. Um, there's these koala bears and then there's the lion. So I think they're really cute and I cut them out with some layering um, circle dies. And I used this one, which I think was the third one. I kept trying to, is this the one I used? Let me just see. Um, I kept trying to find what didn't include like the balloons from the guy next door. Actually, I used this one. So it looks like the fourth biggest one. So I didn't want to pick up, you know, if I cut him out, I didn't want the balloons or part of him. So I was kind of playing around with it. Um, to get the right size. So it looks like it's the fourth one. But these do, uh, this is the stamp set that uh, I used and I really got the sentiment from it, the happy birthday and then on the inside the uh, I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. I just love that sentiment. I think I say it every time I use it. <laughs> but it also has uh, dies that go with it and these are called the Bonanza dies. So these will cut out those, um, and if you cut out the lion, it's kind of funny. You have to cut him out, and then you have to cut out his head and his tail, and they lay right over, or his mane, I should say. Um, so it's really cute. You could do a hat, and uh, there's a nice tag as well, and then some banners. So I didn't want to do that. I just really wanted to just cut out right on the paper. It has all these like background pieces. Um, so we have this, and then for this card, we're going to use the toucan. Toucan. I say it wrong all the time. And you can use a punch, circle punch, whatever you want to use. I use the layering circles that have the, um, the scalloped edge. So let's get started. Um, I have all my pieces cut, and I will have the measurements on my, um, my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com, because there's a lot of different pieces to this that you have to measure. So I have my um, Coastal Cabana is my card base, and then I have my strips, and you can use the ice cream cones, there's um, balloons, presents. I started with the presents, but I feel like you lose a lot of the present, so this is where I started. And it is cute, I just feel like you kind of lose a lot, so I went with the candles. But you can use any of this, and you can use any kind of paper that you want. Um, if you get a designer series pack, paper pack, you get a lot of coordinating and you get some that have patterns and some that are just kind of background. So it gives you a lot of options. So I use this from the same paper pack, the candles, and then I have a piece of um, Daffodil Delight. So let's put this aside and the pieces. And the first thing we have to do is score and cut our card base. So this is a regular size card base. Um, it's an eight and a half by 11 and I cut it at five and a half. So this would be this way. And then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter like I would make any other card. So let's do that. And then we're going to do um, some cutting after we score it. So the, the trimmer comes with a cutting blade and a scoring blade, the stamping up trimmer, which I really love. So we're going to go out to four and a quarter, and we're just going to score it. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it and burnish it just to make it nice and sharp. And then we're going to cut. So what I was trying to do was, okay, I want to have this to be three inches. So if this is five and a half and I take away three, um, I have two and a half. So each side I cut it one and a quarter. And then I went down on my pieces by um, an eighth. So I wanted kind of tight borders. Um, but again, I'll have all those measurements on my blog. So I'm gonna take this out 
and we're going to cut um, we're going to cut one and a quarter right up to the line. So I'm going to try to go to the line. And I'm trying to see where I'm putting it. And if you go a little bit lower, you can just cut it off with your scissors. You don't want to go above. And then we're going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to turn it over this way. And we'll do one and a quarter. I hope this is all in good. And again, I'm going to try to get it as exact as I can. And we'll cut it like that. And then I'm just going to cut these off. You can cut it on the trimmer, but I'm going to just use scissors just so I don't overcut. So we'll just cut this out right on the score on the fold line. And this is where I said if you had to go up a little bit further, you could. And save those, you never know, you might need it for um, a banner or a label or something like that. So I always save, I don't save skinny, skinny pieces, but this I would save. I mean, you just never know what you use it for. So now we have our piece here, this piece. So this again is four and a quarter. So I'm going to um, score it in half. So that would be two and an eighth. Um, and I, you know, I saw this, but they didn't have the measurements. So I just kind of um, figured it out by cutting things in half and um, trying to figure out. <laughs> how big they would be and have a border and things like that. So it's four and a quarter. So I'm going to go two and one eighth and I will score that. And then I think we're done with this. So this will be nice and even here. Okay, so let's put that aside. Let's burnish this and then um, we don't, we just start putting things together, really. We have to do our sentiment. So I have the yellow piece will go in the middle here. And I have this piece of scrap for my sentiment. And what I'm going to do is stamp that with Bermuda Bay and then the happy birthday from the stamp set. I love the script on this as well. Oh, I already have it mounted. I'm ahead of the game. So let's get that inked up nice. And we'll just stamp it here. I love this color, Bermuda Bay. It's very pretty. And then I'll use this punch and it's, uh, I, I can never get these right. It's the Label Me Fancy or Label Me Lovely, I think. Again, I'll have it out on my blog. And we'll just get this. I thought this was a good size for the sentiment. And isn't this a fun card, you know, for a little kid? I think they would love it. And you can do it, you know, with other paper so that it's meant for an adult. Uh, you can make a masculine card with it using masculine papers. I just think it's fun to have sitting out for somebody's birthday. And while we're stamping, let's get one of the white inside pieces and we'll stamp that with the other sentiment, the inside sentiment. And you don't have to, you know, you could put the sentiment here. Um, I was kind of back and forth on it and not even put anything here. Um, but I thought I would put this here. They could write a note here or here. Um, I don't know, you could change it up if you wanted to. So let's get this going. I'm making mine the same way. The only difference in this card is that I'm using the toucan. So let's try to get this centered. I'm lining it up on my graph paper. It's a little bit low, but I think it's okay. So we have our stamping done. And I think all we really have to do now is glue things down. 
So I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight paper. And again, I just measured everything um, and tried to, so this was, this was three inches. So I think I went down a quarter here. And I just went and cut everything down by, I'm sorry, an eighth. So this is probably two and seven eighths. Um, so, uh, you know, you could play with it and make the borders larger if you wanted to. It's all up to you. I just wanted this to be kind of centered all the way around. And I'm using the liquid glue so that you have a little bit of time to shift it if you wanted to. Okay. I'm thinking this is bothering me here. I'm going to just cut that a little bit. I feel like I could see the fold. And I always hesitate doing something like this because with my luck, I would ruin it. I think that's okay. You could just trim it up a little bit more if you wanted to. Now I have my two side pieces, the candles. And again, you could do um, something like this if you liked it. I thought this was too sparse. I thought the packages were too big. <laughs> um, the balloons might be good. So, you know, do whatever you want. This seems too white for me. Um, but whatever your, you know, your preference is, your taste. And if you don't have this paper, just follow along and make it with another paper. So I'm just going to, and I, when I cut this down, I tried to get both side pieces to be similar. So like that, the candles, the, the wicks at the top were almost full. See what I mean? So it's not like cut here. I kind of wanted them to be coordinated. And I don't know if that's me being a little bit too precise, which I'm not that kind of person, <laughs> but I just thought it would look better. Okay, so that looks good. And then we can get our toucan. Well, first we have to put these sheets down. And again, I think these are two by two and seven eighths. So two down, because this is two and a quarter, or two and an eighth, I'm sorry. And this is two, and then two and seven eighths. So the these pieces and these white pieces are the same size. I know that. So you just kind of start putting everything together and this can go, this is no right side or wrong side. And I thought this was cute, kind of uh, confetti, right? And then we'll put this one down, we'll put the white ones down. It goes together pretty quick once you cut everything out, which is nice. Okay, and let's put our white down. So I'm going to put this one down here. Let's see how that goes. Isn't it fun? I mean, the Bermuda Bay and then the Daffodil Delight. Great combo. Bright and cheery. And I love that it matches the designer series paper. So this designer series paper will not be carried over in the new catalog. I don't think this whole set will be. I have to check to see if it's on the retired list. There's some really cute new kid stuff coming out. Um, but I think, I think this does retire. But I will mention that on my blog. I should have, to have that information. So before I put this down, I'm going to put um, the toucan. Now... You, I put this down flat. You could pop it up, but it is sitting on something else that's popped up. So you have to think about that when you mail it, that, you know, how popped up do you want this piece? Um, so, and you want this to be popped up because you want it to sit nice. So I put it down just flat with um, the liquid glue. Okay. And I was back and forth between this and the lion. I can't can't decide 
my grandson, I'm watching him, and he is into, he was watching The Lion Guard, and now he's watching The Lion King. And it's the one that the animals look real. And he's so funny. He's four. And he's kind of afraid of it, but excited about it. So he watches it, and then he gets to a certain part, and he doesn't want to watch it. He wants to start from the beginning again. I think he likes the beginning Circle of Life um, song. So he loves all the animals and everything. So I almost did the lion, but I like the toucan. <laughs> I like the colors and the brightness. Now again, you can stamp these and cut them out, but I just love how bright and uh, uh, vibrant they are from the paper. And I was trying to make the easy, take the easy way out. How's that? So we'll just take all of these off and I think I put this one up a little far. I think I want to put this one down a little bit further. So we just want to center it and press it down. So see this one, whichever way you like it. So this one is open a little bit more. And this one is um, kind of standing up a little bit more. I don't know if you could see the difference. Let's see, let me hold them both up. See the difference? So the tent is open a little bit wider on this one, and that depends on where you put this. So I like the way it looks here, lower, but I like how popped up this one is. So I kind of like it both ways. But anyway, these are really cute cards. I think they would be fun for a kid, um, for a kid's birthday. Uh, again, you can use any papers or sentiments and um, make it whatever kind of card you want. So thanks for joining, and check my, my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com. You'll have all the measurements, and I will let you know whether this retires or not. All right, you take care. Thank you. Bye.